So, everybody coming to the quiz bowl practice after school today? I am. I've got a feeling this is going to be our year. Our year for what? We lose the Silverman Magnet High School every year. We've lost them in the playoffs every year for the past 17 years. That's before some of us were even born. Oh, that's so creepy. Well, we better start practicing our gluteus maximi off if we want to have any chance of winning next spring. That state championship trophy. I can smell it now. Trophy? Winning the private school state championship carries with it a grand prize for each student of $1,000 cash plus a $5,000 college scholarship. That's no small potatoes. You're right. In fact, that's a major league cabbage. Why are we talking about botany all of a sudden? I heard a new boy might show up at practice today. A new boy? You mean like an embryo? Not new to existence, new to the school. Supposedly he scored a 3600 on the SAT and was the second person to ever beat the Kobayashi Maru. If he can answer questions, I'm all for it. Maybe he can even give us the edge to push us over the top against Silverman. There's still something that's bothering me. What is it? What's inside an etch -a sketch There's the bell. See everybody after school. Not so fast, do-gooders. Yeah, not so fast, do-gooders. Well, 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 if it isn't the Christian dorks from St. Dorcas Academy. Are y'all still holding fast to that ridiculous myth about a resurrected savior? Yeah, pretty much. Are y'all still clutching to the hopeless proposition that man himself is the beginning and end of all creation? It's better than your fairy tale. <laughs> Says you. Says me. What's with the rake? It's so I can rake up the pieces of your face after it falls off. Oh, so now my face is suffering from continental drift? It will if you don't shut up. Don't belittle yourselves, team. Talking with this group of social misfits. Let's let our answers at the quiz bowl meet do the talking. Whatever you say, coach. What are you guys even doing here? Your school's all the way across town. You people are the quiz bowl team. You don't know the answer to that one? Well, let me try your luck at this. What's black and white and red all over? Your dead body. Am I the only one who didn't get that riddle? It's Apache Chief! Students, put aside resentment. Quiz bowl game to be played, not cause fight and argument and stuff. In my tribe, when two people disagree, solve things natural way. Finally, a voice of reason. Two teams stand in line, take turns throw cue ball at each other. Last team dead, win. You stand over there. You stand over there. Um, I don't really want to die today, so let's just go. I'm with you. But don't worry, holy girls. We'll be back. We'll see you at the championship game. And we're going to win. The only thing you could win is a loser's competition. Well, then you'd be the runner-up because you'd be bigger losers than we are because you couldn't even win the loser competition. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that good one. They're so arrogant, and they always look down on us for our faith. They not represent all people. They just represent themselves. Continue to pray and continue in faith. They see light in you and want change. At least that's what my Uncle Tim always say. Come on, guys. We better go before we're late to class. Good morning! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. What's all this ruckus about? Let's try to keep it down to a dull roar. Oh, did you hear me all the way from your door? No, no. I was just being sarcastic. Sarcastic? Oh, so I wasn't yelling. I get it. No, no, I don't think I could ever imagine you yelling at all. <laughs> well, you've never seen me get mad at my pet rabbit when he wets on the carpet. 
And if you can't control your weak bunny bladder the next time, so help me, I'm gonna rip those cute little whiskers right out of your adorable little face. Somehow I just can't imagine it. Well, don't you ever lose your temper, Mr. Buchanan? Oh yeah, sure. You know, like when people make fun of the Bible or when they beat children or when they're out of Heath bars at the CVS. You know, serious things. Oh yeah, by the way, are you coaching Quiz Bowl this year? I heard them announce it at the intercom. There's practice today. Oh yes, I don't know why they want me to. I don't know how much I help the students. They're so smart. But I like coaching them. Hopefully this year we can win the tournament. Or at least be our arch rival, Herb Silverman Magnet School. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dickinson, did you know that the Silverman Magnet School showed up this morning just to intimidate us? Those big meanies. Well, if they're trying to pick on us, it must mean they consider us a threat. That's true, I guess. But still, it really tweaked my pit hair. <laughs> Sarah Bell, you just do what's right and be light to others. That's what the Apache chief said. That's because it's good advice. He also said he was replacing his fingernails with chicken lips. That's good advice for some people. Everyone, this is Ricardo. He's new to the school and uh, he wants to try it for the quiz bowl team. Just a minute, Ricardo. How do we know you're smart enough to be on our team? Tumness, I don't think... No, it's okay. What did you have in mind? A mental obstacle course. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. First question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? That's so easy. Everybody knows it's Mount Everest. Moana Kea. The tallest mountain on the island of Hawaii. What? <gasps> it's Mount Everest, dude. I thought you said he was smart. I make no claim to any special intelligence, but there are a few things that I know. Mauna Kea, an inactive volcano, is a modest 13,799 feet above sea level. But when measured from the sea floor to the summit, it is 32,799 feet tall. Three quarters of a mile taller than Mount Everest. Well, what do you have to say to that, Tumnus? I'm almost convinced. One more question, and I'll welcome you to the team with open arms. Ask away. I'll do my best. Have I ever slid down a banister? Of course not. <laughs> Congratulations, kid. You're a holy gorilla. Alright guys, let's start practice. Oh, I hate this stupid computer. Eli Bourgeois. I don't believe this. This computer has frozen up again. That's the third time today it's frozen up. Mom, what's the thermostat in here? Like absolute zero? What's wrong? It's this dumb computer. It keeps freezing up. It's probably dead. He's been downloading viruses again. Just downloading viruses? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Why would you deliberately download viruses? He's experimenting with different vaccines. Well, I wish he would experiment on someone else's computer other than this one. He did. He experimented on his laptop, but he accidentally downloaded leprosy. Well, how am I supposed to write my senior thesis? I'm going to have to work on this for like a year and a half. I need a computer. Remember what mom and dad said last time you asked them for a computer? No! Uh, they have a keyboard at the public library you can use, that is, if you don't mind using a computer with a bunch of random people's finger oils all over it. I guess I have no choice. are no match for my cowboy musket gun. That's it! Security guard! What seems to be the problem? Don't you hear them? Well, I am a little deaf to be honest with you. So... Those kids over there, they're shooting rifles and they have bullwhips? I'm trying desperately to write my senior thesis paper. Could you please do something about it? 
Oh yeah, that'll be no problem. All right, boys, the game's up. Let's move it along now. Come on. Hey, it's Jesse James coming to steal our loot. Let's get him! trip to Big Lots. Come on, Gretel, it's me, your sister. Don't be sad. Be happy. Come on, give us a smile. One big smile. Atta girl. Did anyone throw bricks at you again today? Just one? Only one? See, things are getting better. I knew they would. Yeah, but today someone tried to drive a golf cart over my face. What? Did you tell the principal? That's who's driving the golf cart. Did you tell Dad? What did he say? He said, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should try it. Look, don't worry. I know Mom and Dad said they couldn't afford to pay for the special braces you need, but I may have figured out a way to get them for you. All I have to do is win the state quiz bowl competition. Then we'll have enough money for everything, so don't be sad. Hey, I know. You want half a coffee sandwich? Ridiculous! It's not even my birthday. Every day for the last two years, y'all thrown me a birthday party, a surprise party. And it's never even my birthday. Don't let Granny hear you say that. You know, ever since she came to live with us, she thinks it's your birthday. We've got to humor her. How is it even possible for it to be my birthday every single day of my life? Aren't you ungrateful? Some people in the world never get a birthday party. And you get a present every day. Yeah. And every day when I unwrap it, it's the same gift. My old sneakers. But there's cake! But I hate cake! Well, if you hate it so much, why don't you move out? You're graduating in spring. Move away to college, why don't you? Because I don't have enough scholarship money. Unless... Unless you rob a Circle K like Uncle Ralph! Unless we win the Quiz Bowl State Championships. I'll see y'all later. I have to go practice. Thanks for the sneakers, Grandma. I have to go practice for Quiz Bowl. Hey, Larry! That's not my name. It isn't? Wait, you said Larry? Yeah, that's right. Larry. You disappear into that shed every day after school. Do you mind if I ask you what you do in that shed? Oh, I haven't told you yet? No. Then I guess it's none of your cotton-picking business. Look, you go to Dorcas, I go to Silverman. We're rivals. Do you think I'm just gonna tell you my secret plan to stomp you guys' guts into the ground? So it has something to do with Quiz Bowl. 
No, no, I, I didn't say that. You implied it. I take it back. Listen, you may think you want to know what's going on in that shed, but you don't. So I would stay away from it if I were you. Understood? Yeah, I understand. Watch out for that beehive! Ah! Queen! Tumnus, you're a nerdy, geeky, dweeby, dumb, loser. Oh, Kara. Oh, sweet, sweet Kara. Let me count the ways that I love thee. That's 16, and it's all off the top of my head. That's a lot. Oh, sweet, beauteous thing of beauty. What can I do to make you mine? What? 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 Be quiet, Tumnus. You shut your face. You don't own me. I know you have a picture of the girl you like in your closet. So? You're a greasy little rodent with no life in front of her. Now go play in traffic. Look, Kara. How will I get you to notice me? I know. I'll cut my ear off. Wait. If I cut off my ear, I won't be able to wear sunglasses. I know. I'll win the Quizball State Championship. Okay, Ricardo, level with us. How did you know that Tumnus had slid down a banister? No one could know that unless they had extrasensory perception. Or ESP. I can answer so confidently because it is most unlikely that anyone has ever slid down a banister. The word banister actually refers to the thin struts that supports the fat part that you slide down. Well, if it's not a banister, what's it called? It is properly called a balustrade, or conventionally, a handrail. A balustrade. One interesting word. I'll probably forget it by next period. Not me. A word like that, balustrade, stays with you. Kind of like a bean burrito. Guys, I had an amazing revelation last night. This isn't like last week when you had a revelation that Dr. Phil and Dick Cheney were the same person. No, but it does make you think. It would certainly explain why you shot that guy on the hunting trip. It does? No. But this revelation's even better. Are you ready? Here it is. Guys, we've got to take state. I mean, we gotta go all the way. We have to take the state championship. I take state. Weird. You know, I was thinking that yesterday, too. My sister needs braces. Ugh. I just stepped in a melted Jolly Rancher. Let's put it this way. Either we win state, or a gaggle of pumpkin-faced little termite children die. I have to admit, I'd reach the same conclusion. Either I get that scholarship money, or I'm gonna die of cake poisoning. I don't really need to win state or anything, but for you guys' sake, I'll be glad to help. How are we gonna do it? Hard work and determination. Fierce dedication to team. Doubling our study and practice efforts. Blackmail. A focused, positive attitude toward... Wait. Did you just say blackmail? That came out wrong. I mean, passion, perseverance, and enthusiasm. It sounded like blackmail. Stop twisting my words around! Me start using Pam instead of grease when cook toast, egg, chicken breast, and other sautéed food. You know, just the other day I was reading an article about weight loss. It seems that every time you laugh, you burn a calorie. Maybe that why Lady married to Urkel so skinny. He crack up a patchy cheap. Well, now it seems that teenage girls are developing this eating disorder. Well, let's see, is it bulimia? Bulimia? That name of girl in ninth grade. One with blue hair. No, no, not, not the student. The eating disorder. But it's not called bulimia. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's called laphorexia nervosa. It's where these girls eat and eat. And then they go to the bathroom and laugh it all off. It's becoming quite an epidemic. Whole world today go down tubes. Make Apache chief sad. 
Apache chief not even want open newspaper. Except Reed Dilbert. Dilbert funny. Make Apache chief happy. I hear you, Brosif. Hey, why the long face? Who, me? No, that giant roach on the wall behind you. Yes, of course you. Is everything okay? Oh yeah, it's fine. I was just thinking about my life. And that makes you sad? It should make you happy. You don't know my life. No, I don't know your life, but I know you, and I know things can't be as bad as all that. I sense much loneliness in young me. Great desolation of heart. Everything good in life just needs someone to share with. Either that or have bunion. Hurts deep. Well, it's more the first one. Apache chief say trust God. Him big man on campus. He'd take good care of Miss Dickinson. When page of life is turned, you see God in control all along and have big plan for life. Ta-ta for now. Apache Chief is right. Everything's gonna be fine. There's probably someone in your life that you can share it with that you haven't even noticed yet. Probably someone right under your nose. Just don't turn around before you leave the room. Okay. and talk about it. <laughs> so, tell me what's wrong. I heard my parents talking about this the other night. It's a note from the principal. It says that my tuition for next year is past due, and if it's not paid in six weeks, I won't be able to come back. So, give it to your parents so they can pay it. That's just it. They don't have enough money. They're a thousand dollars short. I'm not gonna be able to come back. Well, that's just unacceptable. We're gonna have to get that thousand dollars for you. How? Easy, we'll take state. I take state. I thought of that, but Roxanne, what are the chances that we'd actually win? I've got another idea. We can sell lemonade. How do you expect to raise a thousand dollars selling lemonade? How much money have we raised so far? Zero dollars. Tumnus. You know my name? I'm pretty sure I do. We've been in the same class since you skipped third grade. Oh yeah. I forget things like that. Well, I'm sorry I knocked you over. My locker's stuck again. Oh. Well, maybe I can help. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just the cartilage in my nose. It'll grow back though. It always does. Hey, I got your locker open. Thanks, that was very nice of you. Only, that's not my locker. This one is. What do you know? Popped right open. Oh, yeah. I probably loosened it up a little bit. Thank you, Tumnus. Thank you, Kara. Hey, are you going to lunch today? I was planning on it. Really? Me too. What are you having? Just lunch, I guess. Me too. I love lunch. It's my favorite. I eat it almost every day. Dinner too. Yeah, me too. Really? Wow. We have a lot in common. What's your favorite dinner? Uh, 
Pork chops, I guess. What's yours? Mine's gum. LeBron James flavor blasted pink lemonade, sir. No, thank you. Very well. Well, goodbye. Maybe I'll see you in the milk line or something. Wow. So Miss Dittemeyer gave them all detention for not breathing. It was so funny. Hey, that reminds me. Did you know that kid Jamie lives down the street? Did you know he's in the hospital? He and some of those tough gangsters from the Brickyard subdivision were playing a game of chicken and Jamie ended up in a ditch. But I thought Jamie wasn't allowed to drive since he ran over that giant squid. Apparently they didn't use cars, they just ran for it. Hey Gamera. What do you want, lizard lips? Can your sister come over and play with us? We want her to smile while we watch her teeth rot. Don't ever come back here again, you little tapeworm! I swear, that kid's a walking ulcer. Don't worry. We're gonna get you those special braces you need. I promise. Hey, I know. There's an ice cream truck. Do you want to go get a couple of screwballs and a big pickle? It's gonna blow! Hello, Kara? Oh, this is your dad? Um, was well, Kara there? May I speak to her? Yes, thank you. Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Um, I was. What? Oh, you say the reception's bad? Hold on, let me try a different area. Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Still no good? Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. This is Tumnus. Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Did you get my... Kara? Kara? Hello, this is Tumnus. Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Kara? Hello? Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. Did you get? Hello, Kara. This is Tumnus. This is, this is Tumnus. Kara, M maybe I'll call back later. Well, that was a fiasco. What is that? I've never heard that before. Is it the smoke alarm? There it is again! I think it's coming from the door! anything. Inter- uh, no! Uh, what? Oh, I'll be right there! Save some Swedish meatballs for me! <laughs> just fridge club. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just noticed that you left this in the workroom this afternoon. I didn't know if you would need it tonight or not. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. 
Well, I won't keep you. Wait, like, how did you know I lived here? Uh, actually, I live right next door. You do? Yep, lived there for almost a year now. I didn't know that. I guess I'm just uber mentally handicapped. <laughs> Nonsense, you're just blonde. Well, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay, well, thanks, uh, Pat. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, Mr. Buchanan's lonely. I'm lonely. I wonder if I should have invited him in for a tea or a Slim Jim or something. Well, that would probably be too forward. He probably doesn't like me anyway. Why would anyone like me? He saved you a Swedish meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Only one Swedish meatball? That's the last time I invite the neighborhood bridge club to meet at my house. Unless, unless they're all in my head too. First meet. This is gonna be great. I can just feel it. Yes, I understand. I'll tell him. Okay, fine. Everyone, I'm afraid I have some bad news. It seems that Ricardo won't be joining us for tonight's competition. Cerebelle, you're gonna have to take his place. But I don't want to go in. I like being a bench warmer. I'm the best bench warmer we've got. Who's gonna keep the bench nice and warm if I go in? What happened to Ricardo? Well, he was on his way over here riding his bike, and he ran into a tree. He's got a torn ACL, and he's going to be out for the season. <gasps> that must have been some tree he ran into. Whoa! It was. Well, it looks like those environmentalists are finally getting the revenge they so bloodthirstily sought after. Out for the season? Oh, no. Do you know what this means? This means we have no chance of winning state. This means our season is over. There goes my college scholarship. And my tuition. And my woman. And my new computer. And my sister's teeth. And my, well, nothing really. No guys, don't be like that. One person doesn't make a team. Look at the apostles. Now did one apostle ruin it for the rest? Oh, well, okay, bad example. Um, what about the New England Patriots? They lost hard-hitting safety and defensive captain Rodney Harrison early on in Super Bowl 38 against the Carolina Panthers. And they still won, didn't they? Only because John Casey kicked the final kickoff out of bounds. That fool. The point is, they still won. You're right, Miss Dickinson. Guys, we can't give up now. With or without Ricardo, we worked so hard. We just have to fight. You're absolutely right. I'm not giving up until there's no more up to give. That didn't make any sense. We're all in this together. I've got nowhere else to go. You live here? Oh, I'm in too. We're all in. Now let's go out there and give it everything we've got. What are we? On three. One, two, three. Holy Gorillas! Yeah, so we're in the tournament again. Tenth year in a row for Silverman Magnet, right? How'd you know? You had it spray paint on your car. That's true, but it's also the first season that we've gone undefeated. Impressive, isn't it? 
I know it is. Put away your wreath. But I won't be satisfied until we win the whole thing. <laughs> I'm fine. Hey, I'm fine. Whoa, watch the threads, okay, babe? Actually, I won't be sad. <coughs> 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 mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> I won't be satisfied until we beat the living Doobie Brothers out of those snot-nosed fanatics of the Saint Dorcas Academy. They're our arch enemies. Why do you have a name for that Ricky Dink Christian school so much? Why you ask? Well, it all goes back to when I was a young lad growing up in San Francisco. I was on the Quiz Bowl team. We were at the playoffs and we were only one question away from beating the only rinky-dink Christian Academy in the city. One question away. Whichever team answers this question correctly will win. What is the first book of the Bible? What's a Bible? The, uh, book of contents? No. Genesis. What does Phil Collins have to do with anything? Correct. No! It wasn't fair. The question was biased. I resolved then and there that when I became the coach of my own team, I would influence the system to my greatest advantage. Even if that meant Nay, especially if that meant I put every Christian school out of business in a 50 mile radius. Even if it means cheating? You know, my father has a saying, if you aren't cheating, you aren't trying. <laughs> uh, that motto has served me well. My dad always used to say, the early bird may catch the worm, but the second mouse always gets the cheese. <laughs> Are you going to talk all night? Yeah. What is it? What are you talking about? What do you mean the deal didn't go down as planned? This is my income we're talking about here. I don't care if it's illegal, I want the deal complete. So what? Okay, if they're not willing to take a Bulbasaur for two Charmanders, I don't know what they want. Okay? Give them a holographic Mewtwo. Would that, would that work? Huh? Would, yeah, ask them. No, no, wait. Look, I, okay, I have to take this, okay? What was the name of Shakespeare's wife? William? Nope, not even close. No, I mean, are you talking about William Shakespeare, the playwright? Uh, I guess so. Is there another Shakespeare? Well, there's Carl Shakespeare, the mechanic. Hey, that reminds me. Why aren't you at practice yesterday, Midge? I had to visit my grandfather in the hospital. What happened to him? He fell out of a window in his pajamas. Oh no, is he okay? He's fine. Broke his leg, though. That's horrible. Wait, your grandfather's Jimmy Stewart? Anne Hathaway? Her grandfather's Anne Hathaway? No, that's Shakespeare's wife. I really hope we win the tournament. It would mean so much to everybody at school. It would mean a lot to my sister. It would mean that her teeth wouldn't look like Afghanistan after 9-11 anymore. There he goes again. Who? That shed boy, Larry. That guy who goes to Silverman Magnet. He lives next door and he's always sneaking into that shed. I think he's planning something to thwart our chances at taking state. I take state. What's he hiding in there? Probably his dead aunt. I tried looking in there the other night. I was so scared. Roxanne, that's not safe. What if he tried to hurt you? I was ready. Did you bring a gun? No. But I had a secret weapon. Yeah. 
was scared. Did you find what was in there? All I saw was a bunch of chemicals. I think he might be planning to clone himself. Or worse. <laughs> Where's Barry? He ate a bad salad and his spleen shattered. I'll be honest with you people. I wasn't happy with that practice today. Not happy at all. Me either. Shut it! That's two practices in a row that we haven't even hit 50% accuracy. What's gotten into you people? That's unacceptable. You act like you don't even want to win. I want to win. I know you do, Riley. But the others? Does it even matter to you that the tournament starts the day after tomorrow and right now we couldn't even beat a vacation Bible school? Those scholarships aren't going to earn themselves. I want that scholarship so bad I can taste it. Mmm, me too. Tastes like chicken and paper. Tell me what the problem is. Well, I for one think our team is falling apart because we have no heart. Maybe it's because you don't have a heart. At least I have a brain unlike you. I may not have a brain, but at least I have both kidneys. That's not fair! Nip it, nip it, nip it. This bickering isn't getting us anywhere. Look, coach, why don't we just cheat? What do you think we've been doing? Yeah, what do you think we've been doing, Flatus Face? Don't call me Flatus Face, Carrot Top. I'm not even a redhead. Me neither. To answer your question, Larry, it's not as easy to rig the state tournament as it is a regular run-of-the-mill season match. We'll do what we can, but we can't rely on that for victory. Why don't we just drug somebody? Who would we drug? I don't know. Canada? What purpose would it serve to drug all of Canada? I don't know. It'd be cool, though. I doubt if anybody would notice. We could break somebody's kneecaps with a bicycle chain! Yeah! yeah. No. no. We're not the Geek Mafia. This ridiculous speculation is getting us nowhere. Find a way to win, or get used to losing! What are we going to do? We could just learn the answers to more questions. Yeah, or maybe we can pray for the Tooth Fairy to come down and just give us total omniscience. Coach Calrissian's never gonna go for that. You know what his motto is. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. I want that scholarship. I want to win. Everything tastes the same at this place. All right, guys. Tournament bracket's just in. We've uh, got some pretty tough competition. Look at that. If we win the next three games, we'll be in a collision course to meet up with none other than Herb Silverman Magnet High School in the championship game. I can't wait. It's going to be different this time. I'm getting really excited about this. I mean, with a little luck and, and some hard work and, and the Lord on our side, we might be able to win this. Yeah, we should celebrate this good year. Let's have a tournament tip-off party. Yeah, we can all bring potluck. And food! I've got some games we can play. I'll bring the root beer and the chocolate milk. I'm sure we can use my house. Oh, fun! How about Friday night? Let's do it! Okay, so there's Sanford, and he has a son named Lamont, and he's like the junk dealer or whatever. You haven't seen that? Hey, Carol. Yes? I was just wondering if you were gonna do anything Friday night. Yes? Okay, bye.
My dream has always been to climb the top of Mount Everest without my nose freezing off. I think that would be so cool. My dream is to one day marry the director of the South Carolina Aquarium. Then we can hold hands as we feed cougar chunks to the Murray eels. I have a recurring dream about my inner Aquaman, and he's helping me with my problems. You have an inner Aquaman? Yeah, he's kind of like my conscience. He tells me things. They make happy pills for that. I'm not crazy. I know he's not the real Aquaman. He just comes to me in my dreams sometimes. Probably just a manifestation of the Holy Spirit or something. What does he tell you? Oh, different things. Roxanne! Roxanne! Torpo, my pet octopus, told me that you didn't answer question number 15 on your math homework today. That's true, Aquaman. And yet you took full credit for it anyway. That's true. Great Neptune's nose hair! What's gotten into you? I'll tell my teacher tomorrow and repent in prayer first thing in the morning. That's my girl! If you like her so much, why don't you just ask her out? I'm scared. Aw. Well, why don't you get one of us to set you up on a blind date? Don't do it. Those things never work out. You've been on a blind date? And how. It was one of the most embarrassing experiences of my life. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm supposed to be your blind date this evening. <laughs> Never again. It's called the coughing game. On the count of three, everybody coughs. The first one who coughs wins. Let's try. One, two, three. <coughs> Tie. Again. One, two, three. <coughs> tie. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Another tie. You guys are really good at this. One, two, three. <coughs> Gee whiz, this might be some kind of record. Miss Dickinson, did you ever go to a lot of dances when you were in school? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Because they're stupid. What'd you do for fun? Oh, a lot. We went to sporting events and we play games like Monopoly. Did you ever use real thimbles? Oh no, that was for rich kids. We'd have rummage sales, and my youth group at church is always having a Bible study or a social of some kind. Oh, it was so much fun. I miss it so much. It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, and sometimes when we were really bored, <laughs> we used to sit on the hoods of our cars at Kmart eating watermelon and Little Debbie's. <laughs> Boy, those are the days. You're sure they're in there? Of course I'm sure. You hear that music? Yeah, so? It's too positive and upbeat. It has to be them. What are we gonna do? Burn it down? No. If I was convicted of arson, my parents would be so mad. I wish my parents would get mad at something for once. They never even care. Shut up! I see someone. No. No, it's just the mailman. Let's do this. Barry, did you bring the present? Got it right here. Let's get busy. Wait, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead fish. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna leave it on their doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So? <laughs> so they come outside and find it. So they come outside and find it. Then what? Don't you get it? It sends them a message. It lets them know we're gonna kill them in the big tournament. It's systematic intimidation. We want them to be looking over their shoulders all the time, wondering what's gonna hit them next. Well, how is a dead fish intimidating? Because it's dead, and it's a fish. And it's dumb. Yeah, it is pretty dumb, Larry. You didn't think it was so dumb earlier. She convinced me. Well, this is what we've got. If you want to go changing the whole scheme now, then go ahead. But you're not going to find anything better than a dead fish on that stoop. What about a bag of poop we set on fire? Yeah, what if we throw a bunch of eggs at their house? Or toilet paper their tree? Or stop on their pets? 
So what I'm hearing from you is that the fish idea is stupid. No, no, don't cry about it. I'm, I'm not crying. It's just, I worked so hard on this. Shh, it's okay. We'll do the fish. Right, Jordan? Yeah, why don't you do the honors since you mastermind the whole thing? Really? You guys are the best ever. I'll be right back. Cover me. we just wait here? It could be another hour before they find it. You want us to run up there and ring the doorbell? Yeah. Boy, that was close. Now the fun begins. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, someone sent us a free fish. Let's grill it. Yeah. Next time, we stop their pets. Dickinson, why is the match outside? That is unusual, isn't it, Midge? I suppose I think it gives them a home field advantage. It don't matter. We still go beat them. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about today. I had the weirdest nightmare last night. Sarabelle, you know nightmares don't mean anything. Andy's right. Now, remember, the Federalists aren't very good on agricultural issues, so let's try to exploit that weakness. On three. One, two, three. Holy, Holy gorillas! gorillas! The score is Holy Gorillas 21 and Federalists 20, going into the final round. The subject of the final round will be economics. Oh. <sighs> This is awful. We don't know anything about economics. Ricardo was our economics guru. And we're just clinging on by this one point lead. Let's just do the best we can. First question. First question. What do we do now? We can't meet in the rain. Maybe they'll postpone it. According to the official rule book, in the event of a rain out, the victory will go to the team who is ahead at the time play is suspended. Therefore, this first round victory will go to the St. Dorcas Christian Academy Holy Gorilla. Then why they call particular ice cream Neapolitan. Me never taste Neapolitan in whole life. What is that? Neapolitan whack. I hear you, man. Hey! How? Look here! It's the greatest coach in the whole world! Congratulations! Thanks. Yes, team two went away from heat big victory. <laughs> yes, it's exciting, but kind of scary, too. 
No, no. Quiz bow no scary. Me tell Miss Dickinson what really scary. Yaniglachi. What? What is that? Yaniglachi, wraith like creature. Him exist because of him own desire. Is capable of great evil by use of arcane magic, shaman spirit, and sometimes strong lotions. Me, Uncle Pook, he see Yanaglachi on Highway 41. 41, dark. If you ever go out, 41, be sure take gun loaded with silver bullet. Only thing kill Yanaglachi. If you get attacked by Yanaglachi and no have silver bullet, it all over for you. No more peanut butter sandwich for you. For you, death. Wow, that is scary. I'll be very careful on that road. Yes, be heap big careful. Yanaglachi catch you, mess you up. Yeah, Yanaglachi, very factual, very factual. Uh, look, don't worry about anything, just pray about everything. Thank you, that's good advice. And look out for Yanaglachi. If you have silver arrow tip, it worked too. But me think you know have those. No, I don't right now, but I'll see about getting one. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Piping hot pizza. It's got a letter on it. It's from Apache Chief. It says, Please enjoy piping hot pizza. It clear brain so team answer questions right. May God be with you. That's so thoughtful. Oh, it don't get no better than this. Why are we eating pizza on the bleachers? That's a good question. Who cares? Let's eat. I'm all for that. Oh, it looks so delicious. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be Is now coming true, especially for me And the reason is clear It's because you are here You're the nearest thing to heaven that I've seen I'm on the top of the world Looking down on creation And the only explanation I can find is the love that I've found ever since you've been around Your love's put me at the top of the This, ladies and gentlemen, is our final practice before the final four. This is the time we're going to focus all of our attention on the shock and awe we're going to inflict on our final two foes. Let's see how well you've all prepared. Ten, hut! Wait, where's Barry? He was smashed by a bus, sir! Again? That worthless Cretan. Where's Jordan? She accidentally swallowed a scorpion, sir. She thought it was a poker chip. 
This team's falling apart. We've got to get it together. Let's run down the checklist. Cameron, acquisition of questions. Accomplished? Not all the way, sir. I was only able to get half. That's inexcusable, unacceptable, and outright disgraceful. Why didn't you get the rest? They haven't written them yet. Oh. They don't write them until the day of the event. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. Larry, intimidation of opposition. Accomplished? I guess so. You guess? For Ravenel Academy, I switched the sugar in their sugar dish with salt. And for St. Dorcas, I put a fish on their stoop. Mission accomplished, sir! Now that we've made it to the tournament, I'm getting my nerve up to talk to Kara again. I'm telling you, learn the lyrics to a romantic song, and then recite them to her. It works every time. Are you sure? Positive. So did you see that new episode of Sanford and Son last night? What is Sanford and Son? You know, that TV show, it's about Sanford. So, Kara, somebody told me that you had a boyfriend that looked like a girlfriend I had in February of last year. So Larry, about the secret plan we have to deal with St. Dorcas, how's it coming? It's coming along great. I've been working on it in my shed. I'd like to see it. Oh, oh yeah, it's a real neat shed. It's got double doors, and, and it's got some shelves, and there's even an old kitchen chair that I used to sit in. Not the shed, you putz, the experiment. Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll be very happy with it. That's saying a lot, Larry, because I'm not very happy with anything except winning and Pop-Tarts. I like Pop Tarts. Stomped. You bet we did. If Kara had seen me, not only would she have not gone out with me, she probably would have thrown up all over herself. Why is everyone so down? Are you blind? We just got murdered out there. Our season is over. Finito, kaput, done like a Thanksgiving turkey. Don't be sure about that. What do you mean? What's that? Um, these are just the results of the mandatory drug tests every player has to take. It seems Chubby Checker got chubby illegally. One of their starters tested positive for steroids. They disqualified him and their team has to forfeit the game. We won! You gotta be kidding me! Let me see that. She's right, we won! Yes. Right. We won, yes. yeah! Oh, yeah. Now, guys. Oh, now, guys. Oh, Good yes. sportsmanship. Let's save the celebration for after the championship game. A player on steroids. Imagine that. I bet it was that hairy guy. Our guest on Dorcas today is Gamera Michaels. She is one of the stars of our own quiz bowl team, which is going to the state championship meet for the first time in school history. Gamera, how do you feel about going all the way to the championship games? Some of the wins have been controversial. Yeah, that's true. Some people have said that we only won because of some other team's stupidity and because of a freak of nature. They've said that our wins weren't legitimate because we didn't earn them on our own merits. Things like that really make you sit down and think. And I've thought about it long and hard. And the conclusion that I've reached is that I really don't care. I mean, I didn't tell that idiot to use steroids. 
And as for the rain out, maybe it's because of global warming. So you can blame Al Gore for that. Either way, I really don't give a rip. We won, and that's the end of it. We didn't cheat or anything. It was just fate. So if you're one of those teams that lost, I really am sorry. When I put myself in your shoes, I'd say we got job. But you need to get over it. It happened, and it's over. So if you want to complain, you can write a letter to Al Gore and Barry Bonds. They're the ones ultimately responsible for what happened. So today, we put into place Operation Hook Up Miss Dickinson. What does fishing have to do with anything? We're trying to get her together with Mr. Buchanan to take away her loneliness so she doesn't have to celebrate with mute bunnies anymore. What's our first step? Step one in a three-step program, get Mr. Buchanan to like her. How about step two? Get Miss Dickinson to like him. Okay. How about step three? Get out of the way and let nature take its course. I like this plan. Me too. It's so detailed. How are we going to get him to like her? We already got it covered. Gamma went over to her house yesterday on the pretense of borrowing some silica dioxide, but while she was there, she perused Miss Dickinson's best hats. And? I picked out the most attractive one and convinced her to wear it today. And that's supposed to get him to like her? <laughs> Silly boy, you don't know guys very well, do you? Actually, I think I do. Oh yeah, I guess you do. Anyway. Trust us, it will work, as long as Gamera picked out the best hat. Of course I did. Don't worry about it. Phase one is a fate to complete. Man, I hope they have macaroni today. I love macaroni so much. They could serve macaroni every day and I would never get tired of it. They should call this place the Macaroni Cafeteria. I love macaroni so much. You don't even know how much. You don't even know. Did you hear what happened to Mr. McRib today? I heard he ran over himself with his own car. No, no, he tried to stop his own sneeze and his head exploded. How could someone run over themselves in their own car? You'll believe anything. You have a piece of dandruff in your nose. You'd better blow it out. Hey, look, there he is! And there she is! Cross your fingers! I'm crossing my toes. I'm crossing my eyes. I'm crossing my intestines. So, you went to court over a $10 parking ticket? I tried to tell judge, me not no wrong to park tractor for free. She say I must pay ticket anyway. Then she say something confused, Apache chief. You're a moron! <laughs> me not know how to take that. Yeah, I, I can see that would be confusing. So me appeal to Supreme Court, and they take case. Hey, look it, Miss Dickinson over there. Me like that hat. She makes Salisbury stick look good. She sure does, Apache Chief. She sure does. Hey! Nice young unmarried man like you. Beautiful young Christian girl like her. You make beautiful music together. I wouldn't stand a chance with a girl like her. She's out of my league. You never out of league when you in the league of love. You think about what Apache Chief say. I don't do too much gambling these days. These days. These days I seem to think about how all the changes came about my way. And I wonder my grandmother once told me that she prays in front of a portrait of Jesus. It helps her to focus. So? So, here we go. 
Maybe it'll help us win the championship. Our Father who art in heaven, Lord, I know I pray to you every day, but today is special because what? I don't think that's Jesus. My grandmother said that no one knows what he looked like. She said the paintings of him might not even look like he looked at all. Okay, but don't you think it's a little weird to be praying to a picture of John Adams? Silly. Two things. One, we're not praying to the picture, we're just praying in front of it. And two, that's not John Adams, it's General William Moultrie. Our father. But what's the point of praying in front of a picture of General William Moultrie? I mean, what's it supposed to accomplish? It's supposed to make us feel closer to him. To who? Jesus and General Moultrie. Why Jesus, of course. Our father. Correct. Camera. What? Can we at least stand in front of that one? Okay, if it'll make you feel better. I still think it's weird. Hey, it worked for my grandmother. It cured her heartworms. Yoo-hoo, Roxanne! It's me, your inner Aquaman! Oh, hey, Aquaman. Roxanne, I'm a little disappointed with the way you and your friends have been praying. You're doing it wrong. You don't pray for solutions. You pray for problems. Huh? Like the other day. There was a fat, dead killer whale blocking the entrance to a cave where some garfish were sleeping. We couldn't move him. He was too obese. So I started praying for God to move the big tub of lard out of the way so we could save the garfish. Suddenly, a blast of bubbles came from atop the cave. It's a volcanic hole. The garfish just come swimming out. God answered the prayer much differently than I thought he would. So you see, Roxanne, don't pray for a specific solution. Pray for a specific problem. Oh. So if Gamma wants to fix her sister's teeth, she should pray for that instead of praying to win the championship game. Now you've got it. God works in mysterious ways. He doesn't need your blueprint. He's got his own. Thanks, Aquaman. Not so fast, Roxanne. There's something else. Look at this verse. Something you and your friends must remember. Seek God first. And then all the things you need will be given to you. Like winning the championship game? Not necessarily, Roxanne. Maybe you'll win and maybe you won't. Put God first either way and let him work out the good things and bad things in your life. God first. That sounds really great, Aquaman. I'll tell everyone first thing in the morning. Oh, by the way, Roxanne. There's uh, something I've been meaning to tell you. You're part oyster. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Goodbye! And that's why I think our new rallying cry should be God first. We do the right things for him, pray for our problems, and let him do the rest. And we serve him first, no matter what happens. I like it. All three. One, two, three. God first!
ready for phase two? Let's go for it. Hey, Miss Dickinson, can we talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure, guys. What's up? Well, you see, we, all of us on the team, we really love you, and, well, we'd like to see you be, it's hard to put in words. Let's cut to the chase. We want to set you up with Mr. Buchanan. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so nice, and you're so nice, and you're both lonelier than you really deserve to be. So, we were wondering if you have given any thought to going out with him? Why, this is so strange. I have been kind of hoping, just in the last few days, that he would ask me, but I, I couldn't. Why not? He's got a job, doesn't he? But there are so many differences. Like what? Well, for one, he's Calvinist and I'm Arminian. What difference does it make? You're both Christians, aren't you? But what about the age difference? He's 21 and you're 21. But in 31 years, we'll both be 52. That doesn't make any sense. And then there's the difference in our races. You're both whiter than John McCain's scalp. Miss Dickinson, stop. Instead of focusing on the one black spot, think of the whole white, beautiful wedding dress. You're both good, smart, funny people with a lot in common and just enough differences to make this interesting. And best of all, he's a strong, devoted Christian. You can't ask for more than that. Maybe you're right. So, if he asked you out, would you say yes? Great. We'll take care of the rest. Guys, no blackmail. Please. I don't need it. If God wants us to be together, then good. But if not, I'll be okay. Either way. That's right, Yana Glachi. Your ball self. That's the last time you attack innocent people. That's what you get for being so evil. Nah, don't say nothing, dog, because I just busted like a six pack of cap in you. Wait a minute. Why is there a gun in my car loaded with silver bullets? 
Oh, it must have been left there by the mechanic who serviced my electric windows last week. And now, it's a miracle! Thank you, God, for having my back. We are pleased to notify you that, thanks to the generosity of St. Dorcas alumni, you have been selected to receive a full scholarship to St. Dorcas Academy for the upcoming school year. Hey, Mom! Guess what? You're fired. This is your interim replacement. Get out, please. Aw, oh, man. Y'all have a bunch of jive turkeys anyway. I'm out. You're a real Indian. You know what it means to scalp someone? Go look it up in book. a new shirt and didn't wear sandals, well, would you like to go to the homecoming dance with me? Let me think about it. Okay. Really? Yes. That's great. I'll pick you up at 7 o'clock and we'll go to Chili's for dinner. Longhorns. Right. Longhorns. And about what I said earlier. I'm holding you to your word about not wearing sandals. Right. Swell. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. What's going on? Aren't you gonna blow your stack? Nope. Not today, I'm not. Then we've got a surprise for you. Grandma, you're... you're a grand man! I mean, a grandpa! Andy, I'm not your grandmother. I'm Secret Agent 419 from the ISA, the International Security Agency. I've been undercover trying to test the limits of your endurance. And I must say, your patience is unmatched. You've been recommended for a full scholarship to the ISA Academy in Freeport. You're just the kind of steel and nerve young lad that we need. What do you say, young man? Are you dozen? Well, what happened to my grandma? You mean Agent 666. She's on a special assignment in Bangkok. She's an ISA member too. Shazam! What can I say? I'll take the scholarship. Larry, you, you're the Yanni Glotchi? Yes, yes, it's me. This was our plan to intimidate you guys out of the competition. 
But then your stupid teacher had to shoot me with silver bullets. But how? Wouldn't you like to know? And you will. You will? Because I'm gonna force you to drink this potion. And you'll become a Yanaglashi! <coughs> oh, I'm having the worst day! Apache Chief, you saved my life! No. God save life. Give him thanks. You should no fool with Yaniglachi. Him mess you up. Is he going to live? Him be all right. When poison arrow take effect, him no be Yaniglachi anymore. Him not want be Yaniglachi when he feel arrow. That was so close. Uh, you have phone Apache chief can use. All right. Are we all here? Where's Barry? He was in a plane crash. Again? Slacker. Where's Jordan? She was the pilot. Well, let's talk about tomorrow. The meet will take place in the auditorium. Then why are we all in here? Yeah, why are we in here? Hey! If you'll shut your beak for five seconds, maybe I can explain. Yeah, shut your beak. Now look! I've wanted to beat this team as long as I've been alive. Although it makes me shudder to think of it, I intend to do so fair and square. But in the event that I can't, I have a fallback plan. I happen to know the order of the question topics. Uh, you know the questions? Yo, yo, yo. Did I say you knew the questions? No! <laughs> I said I knew the question topics, the categories. I'm pretty confident that by the end of round three, we'll be ahead. Round four, though, it's on the literature of the Bible, so we might be a little sketchy there. Hopefully, our lead will be insurmountable. But if not, I'll sneak in here and press that little button at the end of round three while we're ahead. What does it do? It operates the indoor sprinkler system in the event of a fire. If that little baby's pressed at any time, blam -o! Instant indoor rainout. And we all know what happens in a rainout. We get wet. Bozo, we win. It's game over. It's exactly what happened to the Dorks of Dorcas, their first match of the tournament. Exactly oh so. It's evil. It's genius. I love it.
Tonight's the big night, huh? State championships. Yeah, it sure is. It's so exciting. I hope for the kids' sake they do all right. I'm just so pleased to see them growing so much in their faith. I know you've been a strong influence on them. Oh, thank you. I was wondering something. Tomorrow night, would you like to go on a date with me? A date, eh? <laughs> well, I appreciate the offer, but before I accept, I have to know the answer to a very important question. Fire away. I've got nothing to lose. If one day we got married, just supposing, I I'm not rushing you or anything. I understand. If we were to get married, and we were soulmates, and we cared for each other more than life itself, who would you love more? Me or God? That's a tough one. I might blow it. Now, I need you to be honest. I'm going to have to say God. <laughs> then I accept. You can pick me up at 7 o'clock. You do know where I live, right? Yeah, I think I can find it. This is where the meat is? I've got a bad feeling about this. You guys feeling it? You know I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You ready for this? I'm almost ready. Just need to get out my lucky toothpick. How is that a lucky toothpick? Don't you know? It was my granddaddy's toothpick. They forgot to bury it with him when he died. It always brings me good luck. Doesn't sound like it helped him very much. Are you kidding? Do you know how he died? He found a vat of Coburg Totally Chocolate Milk. Mmm, now that's the way I want to go. Five or six people saw him slip in. They almost got him out. But he fought them all off. I think I'd like to drown in a vat of pixie stick dust. You said it. Mm-hmm. You said it. Okay, guys. This is it. Okay, guys. This is it. Let's create a full-scale annihilation. Let's do the best we can. Crucify them. Be humble. Winning is the only thing that matters. Remember, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. No one can help us now but ourselves. We can't accomplish anything without God. It's all about you. It's all about him. Let's win. Let's pray. Barger on location with Dorcas today. Here we are at the State Quiz Bowl Championships where it's the Clash of the Titans. David versus Goliath and Dr. Pepper versus Mr. Pibb all rolled into one. The action will be intense. The stakes are high and only one team can come out victorious. Will it be the Holy Gorillas of St. Dorcas Christian Academy or the Red Devils of Silverman Magnet High School? There can be only one winner. Which will it be? Whose cuisine will reign supreme? Question one. What soft drink was first concocted by Joseph Pemberton? Pepsi? That's correct. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson? Correct. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain? Right. Moby Dick 2, Revenge of the White Whale. No, it was the first one. Dang it, I knew that. Monica Lewinsky. That's right. The Marx Brothers, the Treaty of Versailles, and King Tut. Yes. yes. That's so easy. It's Beethoven's Third Symphony. No. Sixth? No. Fifth? Ninth? Fifteenth. Correct. What kind of score is awarded three points in American Rules Football? Dorcas? Uh, 
I know this. Three seconds. A field goal. Correct. Icarus and Dalas. Macaroni and cheese. Ernie Pawtuck and Floating Goat. Fred Rogers and the Treaty of Oklahoma. Right. Waterboarding. Right. That's the end of round three. Ten minute intermission. And at the end of the third... And at the end of the third round is a tight, tight match. The Silverman Red Devils have 26, and the Darkest Holy Gorillas have 20. The Devils have led most of the way, but so far they haven't been able to pull away from St. Dorcas Academy. The fourth and final round will determine the victor. All right, we've done well so far, but the score is a little too close for comfort. I think it's about time I execute Order 66. Good idea, Coach. Where are you going? With you. No, you idiot. You have to stay here and answer the questions. Good idea, coach. You guys are doing so well. We've got a good chance to catch them this round. They're so tough. They are. They know everything. That mean girl keeps kicking me under the table. I think she's got a shank in her shoe. Just keep doing the best you can do. Don't be discouraged. Just little ways to go. I mean, we can do this. Yeah, let's go. On three. One, two, three. Go God first! first. Uh, stupid thing stuck. Hey, Muffinhead! Yeah, you. You have a hammer I can borrow? Our category this round is the Bible. Question one. What Jewish holiday had its origin in the Israelites' freedom from Egyptian slavery and the plague of the death of firstborn children? Uh, you, I guess? Passover. Correct. The Ark of the Covenant? Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabachthani. Jacob and Esau? Dorcas 25. This is the final question. In what book of the New Testament do we find the verse, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you? The book of God. No, incorrect. Sorry. Dorcas, if you cannot answer this correctly, Silverman will be the champs. I wish I could help you, Roxanne, but I'm fighting this undersea alien. Earth will be destroyed if I let him go. Think, girl, think. Oh, Matthew, Matthew 633. Correct, we have a tie match. Unbelievable. At the end of regulation, the score is tied. It looks like Victory will have to buy a ticket to overtime before she finds the perfect partner to dance with. <laughs> what are you looking at, punk? 
We will now go to sudden death overtime. I will draw a question at random. Whoever answers it correctly will be our new state champion. Here's the question. What is the proper term for the handrail on a staircase? A banister. Yes! yes. No. Dorcas? Three seconds. It is properly called a balustrade, or conventionally a handle. A balustrade. What interesting word. Balustrade. 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 I like a bean burrito. I got it. The correct term is a balustrade. Correct. You are a new state champs. <laughs> did this to me again. You stole it from me again! Why can't I ever win? Why can't I just be happy? Just once? Why are you people always so... all the time? It's easy, Mr. Calrissian. All you have to do is believe in Christ and put him first in your heart. Well, and that's it, eh? That's it. It's not so bad. I guess I could do that. You never I want to know when you and the media. Do 
I stay on my and maybe fall another side? And do I really have a son that I can ride on? Now that I can, now that it's easy, ever easy all around. Now that I'm near, now that I'm falling to the sunlight center sound, I want to know, do I stay or do I go, and do I have to do just one? And can I choose again if I should lose the reason? Yes, and the morning has me looking in your eyes and seeing mine, warning me to read the signs more carefully. Now that I smile, now that I'm laughing even deeper in the sight, now that I see now that I've finally found the one thing I deny, it's now I know. But do I stay or do I go? And it is finally I decide that I'll be leaving in the fairest of the seasons.